Are you serious, North Korea? Here we go again. Kim Jong-un. But let's relax for a moment because South Korea and the United States are doing military exercises right there in his face. Of course, they do them every year. And they do them in international waters. And they, and they have a right to do that. They're not harming them at all. They're just exercising, continuing to maintain military presence. You have to when you have a communist regime that hates South Korea and have taken pot shots at them, assassination attempts, terror, terroristic plane bombings, and several other things over the past 50 years or more since the end of the Korean War. Let me go to you quickly and read to you an article. Uh, North Korea is warning as United States and South Korea begin a joint drill. The U.S. and South Korean forces have begun a military exercise on the Korean Peninsula amid warnings from uh, <laughs> North Korea that the drills should not go ahead. But it's being t they're, they're being done in South Korea. North Korea's up here. This is South Korea. But North Korea is saying, I'm telling you, you better not be doing any military exercises over there in South Korea. Well, you can't tell South Korea what they can and can't do. Uh, look, it's just the reality of the situation. We know how it is. The annual exercises known as the Key Resolve have brought hundreds of extra U.S. soldiers into South Korea. They will be followed later in the week by another set of joint military exercises called the Foil Eagle. Now, North Korea has called the drills an unpardonable infringement. What? How's it an infringement? It's not on your property. It's, 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 what? And uh, anyway, North Korea has called the drills an in, unpardonable infringement and threatened to wage war, a sacred war. Why sacred? Why bring religion into this? You sound like you're a jihadist. Kim Jong-un, when the truth is you're communist, which means your whole nation is atheist, not by choice, because there's a lot of Christians that are there in North Korea. Oh, I forgot. You have a million Christians behind bars because they are Christians. And why isn't there an outcry on this? Why isn't there somebody standing up saying human rights violations? One million Christians being persecuted, held behind bars, prison bars in North Korea, and this guy's talking sacred war. There's nothing sacred about you, Kim Jong-un. There's nothing sacred about you, Kim Jong-un. The exercises, it said, go, go beyond previous ones held on the peninsula um, and have in, and look, a preemptive attack on North Korea. No, it's not. No, nobody's talking preemptive attack on North Korea at all. This is defense drills. You have to. Now, North Korea's state media has carried threats of retaliation, saying its army would smash them with a sacred war. You know what? If you're going to keep running your mouth, you either got to back it up or shut up. And if you look at Kim Jong-un and his daddy, Kim Jong-il, people are sick and tired of hearing about the threats. And when nobody wants them doing it, just let them run their mouth. But the thing is, don't call it a sacred war when you don't have any sacred in you at all. North, look, all North Korea is is a little bitty brother for China. They're the little outlet for China that they can use. And it's what The real dangerous thing is not this puke that's running from his mouth. The real threat to the world is the fact that Ahmadulajad of Iran has is is beginning to build a coalition with Kim Jong Un of North Korea. And we know this kid is young. He's 27 years old. He was playing PlayStation 3 2 years ago. They said he's sitting around at the palace down in the basement playing video games. Now he's playing with the nuclear weapon buttons. This is the real threat. This is why South Korea has to keep a military presence sharp and ready with the support of the United States, especially when you know that North Korea is talking to Afghanistan as well. I mean, Iran as well. Okay. Um, anyway, the U.S. military said 
that uh, in a statement that North Korea Army had been informed of the exercises, which would be monitored by observers from other nations to ensure that they did not break the armistice agreement signed at the end of the Korean War. So America said, look, we're letting other nations monitor us. We're not doing anything. We're not going to break any rules. On Sunday, North Korea's new leader, Kim Jong-un, visited the front line military units, including one said to be responsible for an attack on South Korea just two years ago on that island in 2010. Four South Koreans died in that attack by North Korea. I repeat, four South Koreans died last or two years ago from an attack from North Korea. Okay. According to North Korean state media, Mr. Kim pledged a powerful retaliatory strike if the U.S. South Korean exercise intrudes on North Korean territory. It's not going to. The guy just, you know, he's like a little chihuahua. Yap, yap, yap. He's got all bark, no bite. Nobody's listening, okay? Nobody's listening to that. But the real, the real situation that you have to be concerned about is the fact that North Korea does have nuclear weapons. And they're now building alliances, building relationships with Iran's President Ahmadinejad. And that's where you have to... And you say, well, Paul, don't worry about that either. You have to. Because Ahmadinejad wants to have nuclear warheads so bad, if he can't make his own, he can buy them or get them, give to him from North Korea because China says give it to him. You have to watch this. You have to see what's going on around the globe. I'll be back. I got more to talk about. We got to go to talk about Afghanistan, what's going on. Nine more people killed there. I'll be right back. I'm Pastor Paul Begley here on YouTube. Stay with us. It's going to be a powerful morning on Bible Prophecy. <laughs>